Hello everyone and welcome back to another in today's video. We've been looking at the monthly developer notes. So the reason why this video took so long to come out is because I was waiting for the patch notes for the new Percival, who also released the patch notes for today as well. We'll be going over a little bit of it, not all of it. The first thing we'll be looking at is the uh this is monthly developer notes, number 71. It always normally releases either midstream or after the stream, so there's a size before the stream, but always the day the stream comes out, we get this. So what this is, is them talking about, first one, basically them talking about how um, this is the, the first Fortnite, the proper Fortnite's update, uh, chapter one, and they talk about, as a full scale Fortnite, they basically talk about the fatigue with con consecutive festivals, as a result of this, the update will be unveiled uh, as a apocalypse rise rather than a festival, basically meaning... It's going to be a 600 diamond banner instead of being a 900 diamond banner. To be honest, we didn't need another Percival, but we got one anyway. This one doesn't seem too bad. Also, we get 443 summons on a different banner, as well as uh, an SSR guarantee festival banner thing, which is like you get seven tickets. You can get a lot more, but you only get seven uh, for free, guaranteed. Uh, and it's just a bunch of festivals. We'll actually go over that. That's something I am going to go over uh, with this uh Percival stuff, that's the one we're going over. But he's a 600 diamond banner end of month, not a season, not a festival, so, you know, you can save lots of diamonds there. Uh, took a bunch of crap here, no one cares about this. Uh, improvements to Transcendent Beats. Basically, they're going to try and remove the randomness from the fourth phase, because apparently the fourth phase is apparently the worst phase, which I do agree with. The other phases are quite RNG based, I do feel like the fourth floor will get nerfed again of Bird, but they basically said, People with the best teams that know all the strategies, who literally their team can't get any better, are still struggling with it because there's so much RNG on it, and their goal is to try and negate the amount of RNG needed. So it's players who know how to do all this stuff, basically you're reducing the randomness. And what they're doing with that is they're going to be removing the random passes from Phase 4. I'm not sure how that's going to occur. You know, maybe they'll remove the uh, revive, maybe they'll re remove the full heal, or maybe you can pick which one you want. I'm completely okay with that. I don't mind like being able to pick which one I want. Once again, they said they'll they'll continue to monitor it and then improve it if need be, which they probably end up all doing. We've got the new trading grow change, which they're talking about. Basically, earning a star on a different stage will give you X amount. Uh, I will show you maybe in the patches a little later on. But having a certain stars, an amount of stars on, let's say, level 1 will give you X amount of points. When you have X amount of points, you can then skip basically the whole thing. I think it's making so you can skip the whole thing really quickly. But to be honest, like, Train Grow wasn't that long anyway, but I guess people found it a little bit tedious, especially if you've got lots of keys built up, then yeah, it can be quite tedious. Um, improvements to Demon King, so you can either do it two or three times now, so it costs you two or three times more, but you get two or three times the reward. So, it's a little bit worth it. They say you best do multiple, they didn't state you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, but I do understand three times is quite good, because realistically... It's out here, even, even as I say, two or three times the amount of coins, which is okay. It's good. Uh, and earn two or three times, times the rewards. Number of coins spent to a single clear attempt. Yeah, it's easy. Basically, once again, it's to imp improve the amount of times you have to play the game mode. You know, it's not too hard now. Uh, they do say they are going to change True Awakening. True Awakening was on their list of stuff they're going to change uh, later on this year. So, once again, we'll have to see later on what they do change with it, especially now they've made Demon King a little bit easier. Well, not easier, but easier to farm. In general, less time consuming, but you know, now we just have to see and wait uh, what they actually change to. I'm hoping they change the cost and the LR coins. Like the True Awakening, like coins cost, we get like one per character, completely fine. Uh, and then probably just the amount of like True Awakening crystals you need, the memory crystals, I think they're called. Anyway, that's really it for this patch notes. Basically, summarize instead of being a festival, they thought people having fatigue with festivals all the time. He's going to be a 600 banner, and they're going to call it an Apocalypse Rise title of banner. Uh, this is probably going to be maybe an occurrence where they don't want to give us a festival, but they want to release a Fortnite's character, so they'll just call it Apocalypse Rise um, rather than a festival, which is probably the better bet. It's probably their way of sort of justifying where you can have you know, all these different types of banners with all these different sort of special things to them, and not just festivals having all these special free banners and that kind of stuff, which is cool. It definitely spreads out the diversity. Uh, chapter 1's releasing, no one cares, cool. Nerf to Transcendent Beast, it's okay, they said they're going to monitor it. Phase 4's changing, that's really it. Uh, Training Goro stuff, once again, I may do a video on it on its release, I may not, it's not really too big of a thing, but maybe some people want to see it, so I may do it. 
Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see that one. I don't know, maybe I'll do it. Uh, Improved to Demon King. No one really cares. Basically, you can spend three or two extra SA coins, and you can do it three times instead of having to do it uh, once, or like having to do it separately three times. And I'll go on to, to the actual patch. So this patch itself is, of course, with the brand new puzzle. Let me quickly give you a quick peek. Okay, no. Okay, I'm on the complete wrong page. This is the login rewards. So as you can see here, you've got this Merlin banner and this Queen Diane banner. They are on their banners, the ones that they are shown, but they're not the key faces of the banner. We'll quickly scroll all the way up. Puzzle the Puzzle stuff. Of course, I have a video going over personal patch notes close to the time. We'll go over everything in detail. Uh, that's his cut, which is actually very close to the screen compared to everyone else's. Apart from Arthur's where he just death stares. Banner's quite good, though. Uh, this is the Merlin banner. So the Merlin banner one ticket is 11 summons, which is 443 summons, which is absurd. Uh, but these are these are people on the banner. Your standard stuff, you know, he's got an LR. Uh, he's got an LR. That's really it. Freya's good. Scotty's good. You've got Miguelda here. The only one I'm missing on this entire banner is this Shin here. The only one I'm missing. Apart from that, kind of useless. But this is right. It's kind of broken. So... This banner has pity. At three summons, or basically 90 pity, you get one copy of Freya. At six summons, or 180 pity, you get a copy of Roxy. At ten pity, so ten summons, or 300 pity, you get a copy of LR Liz. Of course, this copy of Liz is not LR'd, and will be obtained at level one, but if you are missing Liz, or you're missing a dupe of Liz, now you've got Liz. And I feel like their way of giving her for free is because they guess she is kind of like Gate kept. Not only is she seasonal, she's now got an LR, she's kind of broken, so I might as well just do that in the first place. Make her free for a change. She's now been free twice, actually, um, which is kind of nice. And this is the Deanne ticket. Basically, one Deanne ticket is one character. Uh, drawing 11 times at once. Yes, it's just one character. And these are the characters you could technically get. There are 32, each one has a 3.12% chance. Characters that are missing from this banner do be Jenna and Valentine's Day. Uh, I was going to say Deanne. Derriere. This banner's got okay stuff. It's got all the non dark and light, all the, basically, all the festivals before dark and light, apart from Chad King. Uh, you've, got, you've got AMLE, uh, Queen, I'm going to say Queen Liz, Goddess Elizabeth. You know, none of the LR variants, which is fine, I guess. No Margaret. I've also just realised as well, so they're missing Margaret and uh, Chad King. Uh, you got the Demonic Beast Valenti, that's the Rat Valenti right there, which is kind of nice. That's really it. You got this, uh, Elaine, who's okay, I guess. You got Green Freya, Summer Margaret, which would be really good, especially if some people are struggling with Nidhogg. Once again, you can't pick them. They're all RNG base, which is a slight problem. And of course, you know, maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe let's just say you're missing both Margaret and Valenti. Maybe you may get both of them, but you never know. Overall from this patch, that's really it. We do get one free Molly on Percival. He does seem quite good. I'll have a banner review. I'll go over it. And of course, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next one. Goodbye.